Hi Aquarius, welcome to your singles reading for the month of October. This is Mary and Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. This is a new series I've added to the channel. This is for singles, new love, who's coming towards you. So if you're wondering who may be coming towards you, who you may meet or anything like that, we'll see what kind of energy we get. Kind of be a fun reading just to see what may some, what some Aquarians may have coming towards them. So I hope you like this. If you do, please do give me some feedback and uh, do like, share, comment, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. And I've also added another new uh, series to the channel, which will be coming up soon after I uh, release all these videos for singles, is a new series called Spirit Guide Messages. So they are messages to you from spirit, what you need to know right now. And it's just a lot of different messages. So. I hope you like that too. And if you do, please let me know. Give me some feedback. Be greatly appreciated. So welcome. If you're new, uh, welcome. Returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, thank you so much for all the support to the channel that you give. It's truly, truly appreciated. Whether you've tipped, donated, uh, reached out for personal reading, or just subscribed. Thank you, thank you for sharing the love and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them, being a part of the channel's growth couldn't do it without you guys so thank you thank you and I truly love to do this please check the description box below any and all information you need is down there personal reading social media decks I'm using tons of stuff there so please do do go check that out be greatly appreciated so Aquarius what do we have for Aquarius for the month of October and I will still be doing the love connection readings and the general readings but instead of doing those twice a month I'm doing two new readings so they'll be four di totally different readings all together for each sign every single month so i want to do something different to uh, have a variety so everybody has something to choose from so i think the most popular readings are the love readings but i do enjoy the, the general readings um but they don't seem to get as much attention as the uh love readings but okay so aquarius for October singles so before we start I hope everybody's doing well and I just want to say happy Halloween happy fall all right so we'll get a couple signs here so we have for you who's coming in towards you we have Taurus and we have Pisces so earth sign and a water sign so two signs here two possibilities Taurus or Pisces okay so let's look into the energy of this person. Energy of this person. What kind of person will they be? What is their energy like? And then we'll look into like a time frame, like maybe what season of the year, how you will meet them, um, where, what kind of connection it will be, advice, and then I'll clarify the tarot. So it's a fun reading. So we'll see. What is the energy like of this person that Aquarius may be having coming into them? Spirit, please. What is the energy like of this person that may be coming into Aquarius? Oh, we got two. I just want one. One. Thank you so much. Oh. All right. We have service. I feel good when I can help others. So you actually may meet somebody who's either in the service or they could be a police officer. They could be a firefighter. Um something where they um, provide services to other people and I'm really picking up like fire department police department even maybe an EMT um, or in the actual service something like that Wow or they could even just be a security guard <laughs> or something like that all right so So someone, I feel someone who likes to protect and someone strong who likes to protect, uh, who likes to provide, provide service, take care of other people. Um, I mean, they could even be, you know, a lawyer, a doctor or something like that. But I'm really heavily picking up, when I, whenever I see that card, I think of the armed forces, I think of police, I think of firefighters, um, anybody in uniform, basically. All right, so let's 
let's see. What could be the time frame? Like what? Oh, so we have 20 here, which is judgment. So this is Scorpio season. So Scorpio season is coming up um, end of October through November. Yeah, so that's not too that's not too far away. Scorpio season. And you can actually meet them around the 20th of the month. Wow. Scorpio season. Okay. <clears throat> And I'm not, usually I don't really read uh, that card, the energy of the card. I just use it as a time frame. So that is uh, judgment, which is, I believe that's judgment. Yeah. Which is uh, Scorpio season. So. All right. And it does say blossom. So this could be something that could blossom really quickly could be a fiery passionate connection here i feel you know with the green here this person will be very stable and grounded also and with the yellow i feel like someone who really lives out like their true passion their true life purpose because yellow is all about like the solar plexus like being authentic and true to who you are and following your dreams your ambition and your life's purpose and with the green um, it's also the heart chakra, so they could be someone very loving, caring, and nurturing. Also very somebody who is very stable and grounded. And um, and they could, green also does represent, um, you know, wealth and abundance. So they could be very abundant also. All right, so where? Where could you meet this person? Where could Aquarius meet this person? Books. Okay, so you could be at a bookstore, at the library, somewhere uh, where there's books. <laughs> so, so you could be reading in the park. You could be somewhere where you're somewhere around books. So definitely library, uh, bookstore, reading at the park or something like that. Or maybe even if you're going back to school or something like that. Um, that's how you could meet them also. But I'm really picking up a uh, bookstore, library, or something like that. And you may be reading and all of a sudden they're there. But we're going to look into how. So we got the where. Definitely a bookstore, library, or something like that. Okay, so where. So that's the where. So how. How will you meet them? How will you meet them? How will you meet them? How will Aquarius meet this person? Either at the bookstore or at the library. How will they interact? How will they run into this person? Hmm. Well, we have speak with love here and you see, um, so now I'm really getting, you could be like in the park because this girl is actually, woman is actually reading and can be male or female. Whoever's watching this doesn't matter. It's just energy. So you could actually be like reading at the park because you see like this gondola with water. You could be near like a re river or a stream, just kind of sitting there reading your book and uh, maybe they're paddling along in a canoe or a boat. Well, I don't think they'll be doing that in October, November. It'd be kind of chilly, unless you're in the warm part of the country. Or they could just be walking by, you know, and you just kind of uh, run into one another. Or maybe, you know, they're walking by and they want to sit on your bench. <laughs> like there's nowhere else to sit. And they're like, you know, do you mind if I sit here? And you say no. And you're just sitting there reading your book and and then connection starts. All right, so, and you see a lot with the orange again, orange here. So I think it's gonna be a very, um, like attraction, like right away. All right, so. And I think you're gonna be smitten with each other. You're just gonna be sitting there, you know, uh, reading your book and um, I think you're just gonna like 
instant attraction, instant like smitten with each other. Okay, so what kind of connection? Wow, that was very quick. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, you know, and I was kind of picking up that energy with the service here. This may be somebody who, um, you know, somebody who's been in the service or um, is an officer or some, someone in uniform. I mean, I don't know, not everybody, but sometimes they can be a bit controlling, like they like to control everything. So this person may like to control the situation or control the outcome here. Or it could be your energy. And, you know, water here is very fluid. So, you know, just kind of let it unfold naturally. Just go with the flow also. So if you're sitting there reading your book, again, you could be at the park or whatever. But, you know, I'm getting par with this energy here. And just kind of go with the flow and go with it, you know. If you kind of, like, put your guard up. Like, oh, no, no, I don't want to talk. You know, just let your guard down. Just kind of go with the flow. Let it unfold naturally. All right, so let's see what your advice is with this connection. What is your advice? This connection. I mean, if you do meet them at the library or the bookstore, uh, that could be possible um, for the where, but with the how, with this energy here, um, you know, I see the water there, you know, so maybe, you know, you both get a coffee or something and, uh, like you go up at the same time to get a coffee and kind of run into each other or something like that, or a drink or maybe a water or something like that. All right. So what is your advice in this connection with this connection? What is your advice? Taking action, I enthusiastically embrace lo embrace life's boundless possibilities. So take action, embrace the possibility, just go with the flow. And you see here this person um, like leaping over a stream, so kind of like an outside energy. So I definitely feel like here uh, it's going to be outside, maybe just outside, maybe it's outside at a bookstore and there's sort of like a little stream that, that goes by you know, the bookstore and you're sitting there reading a book and then they come by and say, oh, do you mind if I sit here? And there's nowhere else to sit. And then all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> all right. So what else? What else? What else? Healing the past. I step into my future with strength and clarity. So, uh, you know, healing your past issues, if you have any, for some of you will be able to, um, will enable you to move forward in new directions with strength and clarity. And also maybe a very healing connection between the two of you. So let's see if there's anything else. I usually get two or three. Is there anything else for Aquarius with this new connection who's coming, emerging into grace? I opened my soul to grace. So exactly to be open to the possibilities with grace, dignity, and appreciation. So definitely embracing that and emerging. Let it emerge. You know, don't fight it. Don't, you know, be defensive or on guard. Um, if you're in that energy, maybe because of things of the past. I think spirit wants you to know not to be afraid to take action. You can overcome past issues. And you can move forward with grace to new possibilities all right so let's clarify the new let's do one more shuffle for you let's clarify wow <laughs> ten of wands so you know i don't feel comfortable asking because i like to ask before i take any cards so uh, I don't know. Let's clarify service. Let's see what we get for service for Aquarius, for the energy of this person. Why is service here for this person, for Aquarius? For a 
I just saw one flip for October. Mm -hmm. I guess not. Okay. Aquarius for October. So that's too many, but I'll take this one. Yeah, I feel like this person here, and you see them, um, you know, with a cup in their hand, and this is communication, a message, you know, of love, affection, um, endearment, that kind of energy. And you see this person's kind of in uniform. And this is water energy, so that clarifies Pisces right there. So I do feel like this is somebody who just loves their true calling, their passion, and they do it with a lot of... Uh, grace, love, and compassion. Again, I definitely pick up, picking up somebody here in uniform. Someone very loving, caring, nurturing, giving, protective, um, abundant, stable, grounded. Someone who's, I, I do feel like someone who's in control of everything, who is in control of their life, who, um, You know, does everything with a lot, lot of thought. All right, so we got uh, Scorpio here for the time frame. Uh, I don't know if I want to clarify that because if I do, it might just get confusing, especially if I don't get a Scorpio card that comes out. But yeah, see, we got the Two of Pentacles. So and that's Earth Energy. So, you know, that just clarifies Taurus. So, so for some of you, definitely is a, because Earth, Taurus is Earth, and we got water here, could be a Taurus or a Pisces during the Scorpio season. All right, so let's, you know, the Two Pentacles does speak of trying to find balance, trying to balance things out. Um... So maybe, you know, you may feel like uh, at the time of your life when you meet this person that you're not, like, it's a very imbalanced time for you. And you may not think it's the right time. And you may have to make a decision here with, you know, uh, judgment there is about making decisions, judgment call. All right, so let's see about books as to um, where. Queen of Swords. So this is all about, you know, the mind, intellect, air energy. You know, it's all about thoughts, the mind. So it's, so you could be learning something here uh, with the Queen of Swords energy. You know, whether you're, like I said, you're in school, just a bookstore or outside somewhere reading a book. You could be, you could be going to school and uh, studying because, you know, the Queen of Swords, Swords energy is all about the mind. It can be about learning. It can be, um, that sort of energy. So you definitely could be learning something while you're reading, whether you're, like I said, in school or just reading, you know, for the benefit of knowledge. All right, so. And that is your energy. <laughs> Duh, I just realized <laughs> that's your energy, Gebra, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, wow. So now we have your energy in the two cards I first pulled. Taurus Pisces are here. Wow, spirit. Thank you. So, yep. So that is you learning, growing, or just reading. Wow. So, yeah. So for how uh, we have the Ace of Wands here. This is a brand new beginning. And I had said very fiery, fiery passionate, like an instant uh, attraction connection here. Wow. So... I just saw the Ace of Swords too. Wow. So let's see. Um, though I didn't really ask. The Ace of uh, Wands there just kind of flew out. But um, for how. I don't know. Do it. Is there anything to clarify how? Well, we got the Five of Swords in reverse. So. So yeah, this is an energy of um, when it's upright, of kind of like very ego, selfish kind of energy, getting ahead at all cost. 
in reverse, I, I feel it's not that kind of energy. I feel like it's somebody that um, I don't think they're a selfish person at all. This person don't think they're selfish at all or ego driven or anything like that. So it's not going to, you know, really bother them to say, hey, can I come sit on your bench? Can I do mine if I sit here with you or whatever? I don't think, you know, that's really going to phase them to do that. All right, so let's see what let go of control issues is for this person, for Aquarius, the star. So divinely guided healing and here's your energy again while wow, you're coming out in this reading everywhere so this could be speaking to you to let go of control issues here just to heal have balance um faith hope optimism um wishes and dreams coming true energy and divinely guided energy so let the situation unfold naturally it's maybe divinely guided and just let it divine guide this connection and don't try to control it. Wow. Okay. So I feel like that's a message for you. So I saw the Nine of Pentacles. So that is a single energy, independent, abundant energy. So taking action, I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. Your advice for Aquarius. What do we have for that for Aquarius? five of wands so this is um can be inner conflict um competition conflict around you or just a lot of possibilities here and you're conflicted on what to do uh, but take action you know this is a very action oriented card with the five of wands so you know don't be afraid to take action and being in control in charge here, Emperor or Empress energy. So what is the healing in the past? And we have the hanging man. So this is um, doing that inner journey work, healing, reflecting, uh, seeing things in a new perspective, just kind of going with the flow. Here, reiterating, going, just go with the flow. You know, I think healing the past, healing your issues will help you just to go with the flow um, in this connection. All right, so what is this emerging into grace? If you do like this Aquarius, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I'd love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. Like I said, four, wow, four readings a month. So don't miss out on that. And if you do, thank you. So what is this emerging into grace? Something flipped here. I saw something flip. And now I can't find it. There it is. The nine of wands. So, you know, I think, you know, for some of you who may have been through a long, hard battle, hard fight, you know, the wounded warrior here, but you still can persevere and move on and continue on and do it with grace and dignity and open your soul to new things. And manifesting, brand new beginning here. Devil energy, I do feel like it's going to be like an instant attraction, maybe a lot of passion, so be careful of that energy. And here's the Pisces energy again with the Queen of Cups energy. And now we even have the King of Cups down here. So Seven of Pentacles is Taurus energy. So, you know, you've been may have been waiting a long time before starting something new or hoping for something new. Um, you know, it's patiently waiting a long period of time there. So some of you, you know, may have had to lay down a lot of burdens from the past before you could find your inner strength and move on with that grace and dign dignity into the future to your Ten of Cups. Total happiness, joy, and fulfillment. But you have to take action first with love, compassion, peace, and understanding. Wow, Aquarius. 
Good luck to you, Aquarius. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.